Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to give you my review for the brand new horror sequel Halloween 2018 which I suppose is what we're calling this one and this is a film that I've been so looking forward to watching one of my or most anticipated films of the year this a film that after we all saw the trailers we all got really really excited about um, and what do I think of Halloween 2018? Well, generally speaking, guys, I thought this film was really fantastic and really, really hit the mark in a lot of areas. But we'll talk about it in a little bit more depth. What is this film about? Well, it follows on 40 years after the events of the first Halloween. And it completely ignores all the sequels apart from the first film everything else has been made after has been completely ignored and for 40 years Michael Myers has been incarcerated um, he's not uttered a word for 40 years and we see at the beginning of the film he is visited by two journalists um, who basically goad him show him his mask get him all worked up which we all saw in the trailers and well didn't really get him worked up got everybody else worked up uh, but clearly it awoke something in Michael. We also learn that Laurie Strode, played by Jamie Lee Curtis, has spent the last 40 years preparing for Michael Myers' return. Um, she's got a daughter and a granddaughter and a couple of failed marriages behind her, and she's turned her home basically into a fortress um, and is ready for Michael to return back so that she can basically kill him. Um, Michael is then about to be transferred from his um, institution to another institution and this is because they can't study any further, he's not said a word for 40 years, they think they can't do anything now so they're going to transfer him to a more bog standard facility and lo and behold the bus that's transporting him and a few more patients never ever makes it to where it's supposed to be um, but Michael Myers makes it out of that bus and heads back to Haddonfield to cause his usual chaos and that's the basic story of this film guys um, what did I think of this well I think generally speaking they've they've hit the bullseye with this film I think David Gordon Green um, has, done, has directed it really really well uh, I think the writing's on point. Danny McBride, who's who's been involved in writing this, who who you may or may not know is the comedy actor. Jamie Lee Curtis is back. We've got John Carpenter as a producer and also does the so familiar score that we all know and love. There's a lot of talented people involved in this to try and make sure that this works and they give us a sequel um, that is worthy to stand next to the original and I think for the most part they've really really done it guys I really do believe they have um, I was really um, excited when I was watching this film I thought the setup the first 40 45 minutes was flawless the thing with the journalist the fact that you go and see him in the institution and it just increases this awe and this legend of Michael Myers I thought it was brilliant the Laurie Strode stuff, the fact that she's this, this tortured woman, this poor woman that's just been not been able to move on for 40 years, just preparing for his return. Um, I thought it was handled brilliantly. Um, the, the, I think there's a couple of missteps here with this film. I think um, they focus, focused a little bit too much on the granddaughter, a little bit, not too much, and her friends and stuff, and it felt, it just felt a bit cheap. You know, like, you know, oh, it's a slasher film. Let's just throw a few teenagers in the, you know, as collateral damage for Michael. I, I don't necessarily think they needed to do it. Um, I thought the... Apart from the throwaway deaths in this film, a lot of them, they felt um, like they belonged in the film. Apart from three or four other, like, teenagers that are taken out in this film. They didn't didn't need to happen, some of them. I think they just wanted more people on screen killing and getting killed. Um, from my perspective, I thought this film was really respectful to the original. There's more than a few nods to the original here in this film. There's the there's a bit in the classroom that I thought was nice, and there's a bit near the end where roles are reversed between Michael and Laura that I thought was really nicely done. I thought this was 
really effective pretty scary and filled with a lot of tension at times um, I, it's not terrifying this film but you're at edge of your seat you know things are, ha are going to happen you're not sure how you're not sure when um, there's a couple of really lo um, long shot things where they follow Michael the camera follows Michael through the house which again we saw a bit of trailer on that and I thought that was really nicely done and really filmed really nicely I've seen a couple of reviews where people have complained that the comedy in this film was misplaced well I don't think it was mainly because I don't think there was much in the way of comedy you know there was you got Danny McBride as part of the writing team um, I thought any humour that was injected into this what didn't overshadow the film at all and to me I didn't think there was much in the way of humour anyway I thought the writing was pretty clever and very respectful to the series I do I do honestly think this is um, a really well made film that does stand next to the original I thought it it added to the legend of Michael Myers brilliantly I really really did um, I thought the ending was good there is a twist in the film that I've again I've seen a couple of reviews where people are a bit scratching their heads like I didn't get that twist what was that all about and it was didn't work um, I thought it was okay the twist uh, did the film need it probably not but I, thought, I still think it was interesting and it does explain a lot in the film like why did they decide to transfer Michael so close to Halloween um, there were, uh, um, there were, it did answer a couple of questions for me that would have been plot holes in regards to this twist and, why it t and t what took place in the twist that obviously I'm not going to spoil so for me guys I'm giving this an 8.5 out of 10 really good film really well made um, definitely one of the strongest in the series by far um, and certainly if you're a fan of this series of films I don't think you're going to be disappointed I really don't I think it's a really really well made film and I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it guys so there you go I hope you enjoyed the review and thank you once again for watching